Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to this video and today we are going to talk about three things that we want to do in filament while we are creating a new record. So the first one is something which I have already covered but I wanted to show you a better way of doing it. Um, let me go to my create customer file and over here right now what we have done is got the data from handle record creation and we added the user id now this is fine if we want to generally change the creation process but if you just want to mutate the data then there is one more option which you can use and i'll just show you let us copy this line because that's the only change which we need to do and in my php storm i'll go to override methods mutate mutate and i have form before create right this is what i wanted i'll add this and then i'll just send the data with this in place ideally we should be able to save this let's just test that out i'm over here let me fill up the form let's just say it's youtube customer And we have a random email address. Hit save. I guess we have created that. Yes, we have. Let me see if we also have the user ID properly inserted in the table. Yes, because the owner says Amitav Roy, and that's the you know, creator. So even if we do a tinker, let me open up my tinker and see how things are. The user id over here is 41 so i can do dollar user equals app models 41 sorry hmm i can't find it sorry <laughs> my bad it's not user it's customer right so i have user id one so basically that you know or the user id got attached uh, to my model while the creation happened and that's what we exactly wanted right so that's the first part the second thing is right now when we save right we go into the edit form but if you want the user to get redirected to us a, a different url for example what we can do is there's one more override method which is get redirect url and over here i can pass a string which is the route so every customer re uh, every resource for example if i do let's keep it as a string right now um customer resource right if you go into the customer resource and if you go to the resource class which is being extended get url url correct it basically allows us to get the URL of this particular resource, whatever is being defined. For example, if we go into the resource, we have these three. So if we want to take the user to any of these three URLs, what we can do is come over here, do customer resource, get URL index. And now, if I go to the add form again, I'll do some random thing. Hit save. And this time I got redirected to the home page or the index instead of the edit, which is exactly what we wanted. So this was the second thing that I wanted to cover. And then the last thing, what an interesting one is, I don't know if you have noticed, but when we create a customer or whenever we create a new resource, there's a small notification that comes up. Let's see. Okay, keep an eye on this section of the application. I was actually going to point there. Um, so can you see this? Oops, it went away. But I hope you got that. Otherwise, you can just go back a little and pause it. So how can we modify this notification? Well, there are a couple of ways. So the first one, again, we can override certain things is 
uh, there's something called notification um, get created notification title this is one way and what we can do is just because it is expecting a string I can say something like a new customer got added Hooray. fair enough let's try that out okay I'm just picking random names okay I'll, I'll need to see if I can find that autocomplete uh, Chrome tool but yeah we got that notification over here so this is one way and I know we can customize it a little further to even create an entire notification um, widget so let's see how that is done and for this what I will do is I will show you how you can even follow the uh, documentation of filament for any such thing so filament php docs are here get started and we are looking for notifications okay so actually here the notifications thing and when we do send notifications we can practically take everything so I'll, I'll show you why I am saying this so let's just say oops we again go to our override methods and let's see notifications notifications notification get created title get created notification we have message redirect but right now I am looking at this now the advantage of type hinting I understand that this method needs anything which is of type notification which means whatever is possible with a notification can be done over here and this is the entire documentation of notification so what do we have we have notification make we can send a title we can say that it's a success message and then we do send we have warning error stuff like that so we can do a title we can even do something like an icon which gives us this um, you know all those things background colors duration stuff like this so let's just try that maybe with a title and a body okay um, the rest you can definitely try it out so return notification make okay I'll do a title a new customer was added Hooray. all right what else I need a success body a new customer got added let us try and add more something like that um what does the duration is this duration yeah duration so let's just say three seconds and then we do send so what do we expect now let's just see I'll refresh new customer yeah email address i mean the domain can be wrong that's not a thing but yes can you see we have a new notification it went away after three seconds we can extend it but you got the gist right so these are the three um, interesting things that i found while we can create our uh, resource resources and that's what i wanted to share with you these are strong things to get you the next level you know interactions for your end customers so that they don't feel it's just you know a typical application you are thinking about things right the overall experience is improved for them so that's about it if you like this video then do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel